buy a propane kit for that. I don't even know. 150 bucks. Uh, we're gonna do chain video today. Chain, wide chains. Did straps the other day. Being that I got some hooks that I bought. Alright, this is ch Chinese hook. I'm gonna probably sell four of these. I'll put two on that one. And this one, you drop them on the ground, and they don't sound that hot. But I tried it, I got four of them. Good price, people think all over it. Maybe I'll sell those ones too that are on there. Maybe I'll sell, try to sell six locally. I'll try to sell the four locally for what I paid for the six on the internet. Alright, let's go step up the game a little bit. CM something McKin McKinnon. Actually, their headquarters is funny. It's somewhere in upstate New York, but I don't think they're building the crap up there. That's just the headquarters. So they're getting taxed the shit out of being um, up there in the Yankee land. All right, so this is let's even say. Oh, that's a T80 chain. Okay, T80. What's this? T80. It's transport 80. See, all this stuff gets different ratings. Some of them are 70. See, these are actually stronger. Then those hooks over there, they are G70. This is T80, stronger, better. But these are like $20 a piece when you can get 20 for six of the Chinese ones. These are pretty cool too. Snap hooks, again, CM brand. What's the other brand that's pretty good? Uh, Crosby. Look up that too. Also made in America. High quality shit. I had some Chinese one show up. What garbage, man. The snap hook was terrible on it. And a quality hook. Look at the little slide it goes through, too. It's a tough spring. Damn. It's just like wrecker stuff. Also, make these with open hole. Kind of like, uh, if you can even see it. Can you see that hook? Bad video, I have dark lighting. But you see the hook? The hook has a hole in it. They make hooks like that as well. But then you need a uh, different loop on it. Or if you're good with the welding. Just cut it and weld it back together. Um, so that's that. This is the shit. I think I have three of these now. I think I bought three more. Oh, Jesus. 20 bucks a piece. Added up. So that is that. What do these chains say? These chains said... What was that? G70. What was that? T80. T80. Better. Okay, so... Also... Chains have a rating that's actually printed on a chain. I don't think this one does. This is the Samola Rusty 3 8 chain. I zinc painted it. I don't know why I was bored. Um, yeah, no ratings on it, but a lot of times the links will have an imprint, like the chain hanging. Actually, this car on the wall, you can't see it, but it will also have a rating. They rate the chain like 70, 80, some chain too. Well, this is about well, the hooks. Let's just talk. go back to hooks for a second. Some hooks only good for, like, transport. Like a loader, a car. You know, like a hook you're going to lock into the chain. Wrap it around. Goes like that, by the way. Between the link. I've seen some people put chains, like, try to put it in the center of the link like that. No, you're going to die. Don't do that. A chain link goes to the flat. I need more chain. Hold on. Let's end this like that. Through the link, it stays locked. You know, if you make a hook, obviously you want it like that, so it's pulling. You know, it's not going to come apart on you. Some people are stupid; they do it the wrong way. So, some hooks only like really meant for like this kind of force, not overhang hanging. Some hooks different for overhead hanging than, you know, transport chains. So that's another thing, difference. You need to know what you're doing. You can kill yourself. And um, all different angles, too. It's the same like the wire rope or cable that was on, like, the wrecker. You have, like, so much pull in a straight line. But once you twist this thing this way or that way or the thing's going down and then... You know, the cable's going down on the bed, maybe like a snatch block, which I never had. I was always pinching the bumper, you saw in my videos, if you watched the whole series. Which will only re-begin if I get my own truck one day. That could be pretty cool. I'd like a brand new one, though, because I'm picky. No, no. I feel that I can go destroy it. 
$90,000. I don't know how I'm going to afford that. But, uh, what is it? This is another rating, Y61. This is a cheaper thing. Forged in the USA. This is not the strongest hook. A lot of times, too, they, well, mostly what I'm seeing, the hook also has the size of the chain written on it, 3 8 so you can tell what size your chain is. This is 3 8 chain. So, yeah, some hooks cannot pull up. It's going to break on you. Some hooks only meant for side pull, not overhang. Same with the chain. Chain will have a rating on it. I don't think this one does either, no. Now, the hook on the wall does, but it's, that thing's all beat up. You can't even see it, but that's a beefy long chain. And it does have a, um, a stamp on it, which I can't make out, though. This is for a uh, ratchet strap on the record. They were drawing this out years ago. I pulled out of the dumpster. You know, your ratchet strap will go on one side, and that just locks into the little chain holes. I was going to make something with that. A D-ring maybe on one side, and a little snap hook on the other. I don't know if I need to. I have some links coming, too. It'll be a separate video. You have uh, Clevis little links. And with that, you can... This has a pin on both sides. It basically looks like that. And, you know, that. But they're joined. So there's a little piece of metal over here. So basically, you know, that would be open. It'd be better look if you think about, you know, that and that. Imagine it like it, it's attached together. So then with that, you can extend the chain. And those have their fixed ratings. So that's that. We're building chains. Why? Good for pulling shit. Trees. Uh, still gotta get a chainsaw. Now this shit's gonna happen again. And if I didn't have this though, it's just, I don't even know what was in this garage. So the other day I was bitching in here. It's going through shit. Yeah, I found some more chain. So, yeah, I was just using that one. Didn't know I had the one with the big J hook on the end. Didn't know I had this one with no hooks. And that one only has one hook. But I think I'm going to put a, um, a snap hook on it. Maybe. Use up one of these. I had another one around too. I think it's in my room or I lost it. I don't know. So that is that. Buy a good brand though. Don't cheap out. I also have one of their D-rings coming too, because I bought the, uh, this thing, hold on. Generator barely fits, but it's in the air. This is a Chinese D-ring, this thing's a piece of shit, man. Fits all loose, what a difference, man. This is okay, that's the company, TJL. Don't know who they are. Family owned and operated in the United States, but we buy Chinese stuff. Uh, yeah, junk. This is it on there too. Cheap D-ring. And then, like, they stu buy these stupid little, you see these cheap people, what the hell's up with them? They have those, uh, little inserts on them. So I have a tow rope, too, without hooks on the end. It's just a wrap kind. And that thing fits in there tight. Damn. Spring, high quality spring. Again, buy Crosby or CM. And I forget what CM stands for. Something, there's the person's name, like their name. Something... Kinling, I don't know. I'm stupid like that. Yeah, buy a good hook. Again, I think I'm gonna list those for sale. Some car hauler guy, who knows? Buy it on Craigslist. It takes six years. Let's put that on this one. And hooks, yeah, know the grades. I'll send you a little, put a little stupid link in the background. I don't even know if it's legitimate or not. But all different ratings, you wanna know. What you're doing with chain or else you're gonna get hurt. Be dangerous. That's what I was gonna do. I was gonna put an add a link over here and like make this one stupid long. With these two little links. I don't know. I was thinking about it. I don't know. Let's go put it on though. Cotter pin. That's what the USA ones give you too, a nice thick cotter pin. And the Chinese ones give you garbage. I gotta go to a good hardware store and look for same size pin, that's the thickness of the pin though. Has to be increased over the Chinese. Done. Crappy chain video. Maybe you knew all this shit already. Let's know the ratings. Look look on the hook. 
what does that say? Doesn't it say G70? Yeah, G70. G53 slash G70. Um, and know that you don't put a load on this. Know that your hooks again. Know the freaking what you're using them for. Your chain. All this shit should be really inspected link by link by link, but no one does it. No. Back in the day, at the dangerous place I worked at, and no one gave a f about you. Um, yeah, some of those freaking links, man, that we used to use, they were whatever. Nickel and dime operation. Dangerous. Yeah, look out though. You just never know, and one of these things will snap. Did I mention that too? These are called clevis hooks. I don't know um, if I said that, and that's a clevis pin. Why Clevis? Is that their maker? I don't know. I didn't look up the term and its history. I'll probably do that after I make this video, but I won't include it. You can go do your own research. Yep, that is that. That's going to be a cool little chain. I don't know what I'm going to use it for. I don't know. Well, that's cool. You could snap it on something. Or even like an axle strap. I got some axle straps coming. You can snap that hook to an axle strap. And, uh,. Yeah, wrap that around something else. We'll figure it out. Make some ghetto uh, pulling devices that no one else has. Everyone else has string. String and zip ties, small little twine. Nah, can't. Actually, did I tell you that story? I'll just show you instead of what it's hanging on. I probably shared this so many times on uh, YouTube. But that New York, it's a really effed up place, right? And the people who live in that area, a lot of them are from like foreign countries. They don't know what the hell they're doing. You see some effed up stuff, just like you would see down here. So, one morning, driving to work, wasn't in this car, I think it was in the white truck. Um, it was like a 30 mile ride. I think it was, uh, yeah, Saturday, Saturday morning. I like to work on Saturday, no traffic. They stay there as late as you want, work on your car. Um, and all the freaks would show up too on Saturday at the place with freaky customers. So anyway, in the morning, I thought I was pretty tired. I think I went to a car show or something late on Friday night. I was up late, didn't get much sleep driving there. I'm like, am I really seeing this? So instead of using a chain or a strap, I believe it was a minivan in the front small little car in the back and they use this string right here and it was moving the car they probably you see like this bowl of string like how much if you cut this you know on how many strands is on here they probably had at least half that attached to the car like one string running then they ran another string another string another string I don't know what they had it tied around maybe they freaking had it tied around the damn clasp from like the seat or something. I, I think like the, even the back of the van, it was like a Ford Windstar. The hatch was open. They were towing like a little Nissan behind it. But they had at least, again, half of that piece by piece by piece, like Home Depot twine, moving the car 40 miles an hour down the street. And there was like this little, I don't know what the hell. I think it were like Asian people. And this little like Asian guy is hunched over the steering wheel in the back car and he's like steering it along operating the brakes uh, but, but the best part was like half the string that was that was used it was like broken and you just see it dangling behind the van if I had this shit on video it's gotta be like going back like 2006 2007 if I had this shit on video oh, it would have been viral viral I mean hundreds of thousands if not millions of views if I had it on video, but I didn't, but that's just a story and the shit that goes on. But if you don't think it's crazy and you think I'm making this shit up, you never been on the road. That's all I'm telling you. You never been on the road weird hours in the morning. Um oh, I just broke that off, didn't I? Shit, that can't shot now. Um yeah, I never been on the road at weird hours. Cause people do some stupid shit and you wonder why they get hurt. Uh, and that does not fit on this. Well, you can't close the snap on it. Oh, did I mention too that story I was just sharing? Um, that was on a highway too where that happened. 
a parkway no less that's a stupid rule up there you can't have a truck over a certain weight with commercial plates on this road and that road it's just horrible man you don't want to live up there it's garbage you don't even make any money up there no more <laughs> same shit everything is just crashing so the extra expense it's pointless all right so that's that generator this shit chains straps are getting there